I'm Garth Laidlaw, and I've been painting for uh, quite a while, and I studied professionally at Sheridan College, uh, but I actually studied animation, not fine art, uh, but then I found my way back to painting in 2018 uh, by starting to do oil paintings again uh, of landscapes, and I also paint figures and still lifes as well occasionally. Um, like the Impressionists, I really love painting uh, lighting effects, so dappled light, um, I love painting water. Uh, I tend to have a lot of blues in my work, uh, although not exclusively. Uh, I love painting winter scenes with lots of snow. I, I guess I would consider myself also a partially a regional painter. I like painting Canada and places I've been. Uh, I also have some paintings from Portugal from a trip in 2018. Uh, so I, I, I paint a lot of different things, but mostly landscapes so far. It, with my art, I'm trying to express um, my enjoyment of nature and being in natural surroundings, uh, and I hope that comes across. I'm a big fan of the Impressionists, uh, and they were all um, sort of trying to capture a, a really vivid and wide range of colors, and so I'm sort of continuing that tradition uh, with my work currently. One of my biggest challenges of painting is actually not trying not to just paint the realistic colors that I'm seeing and try to uh, express something more, more personal and intimate than that. Um, I, I don't like being caught in this sort of hyper-realistic way of interpreting the world and nature. And so I'm always trying to either exaggerate color or forms um, and add some element of abstraction into it not, not overtly so much as like a surrealist or a cubist, but, um, but in, in subtle ways in terms of how I uh, compose an image. Um, that I find really challenging, uh, especially when I'm working from photo as many landscape painters do. Uh, it's, it's very easy to fall into the trap of just copying the photo. And so to do something a little more than that and to express something that, the, the, that is beyond the photo is one of my main challenges of painting. I love plein air painting. Um, I find it difficult to fit it into my life always. So sometimes I'll start a painting on plein air and then take a picture and bring it back to my studio. S similar to how the group of seven would do a small study uh, and then bring that study back to the studio and, um, and make a larger version of it. I think that the, 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 the benefit of doing it in that way actually from your own artistic reference versus from photo reference is that you, w when you're transcribing the image, the sketch that you're seeing uh, that will later become a full painting, you're doing the job of designing that composition and, and, and sort of choosing what parts you're going to include and what, what, what parts you're going to omit. Um, and that's something that I would increasingly like to do in my work, mm -hmm. is sort of doing a, a sketch and a study and actually not working from a photo, but working from my original study and then building that into the final painting. Well, I do consider myself uh, sort of an impressionist. Uh, I'm, I'm aware that that isn't exactly the ism that we're in. And, you know, it's very debatable whether we're actually in an ism at all right now. Um, but I do, like to, I do like to consider myself sort of linked to that tradition, at least in, in, in some ways, in terms of the aesthetic of the painting. Um, but I also increasingly think of including uh, some kind of contemporary lens into my work but I haven't quite decided or discovered what that is for me personally. And I would love to integrate more, more story into my work in the future, which also sort of combines my interest and, and career in illustration as well. That is completely narrative driven. I would like to kind of fuse some, some amount of narrative into my, my fine art work as well. Some of my favorite painters are um, John Singer Sargent, uh, Cezanne is probably my absolute favorite. Uh, most of the Impressionists, uh, Monet, um, Degas, Anders Zorn, um, I, a, anyone that sort of is, is more expressionistic with their, with their work, especially their brushwork, but isn't, uh, anyone that's not overtly realistic. I really don't like hyper-realism, um, and so I try and, you know, I, I naturally gravitate towards that are a little bit more expressionistic in nature in terms of how they go about their painting. But I also love those who are able to build some story into their work, which I feel like Cezanne was a great mix of both um, loose brushwork, impressionistic in some ways, um, but also had depicted scenes of people that were, you know, you, you could tell some sort of story from his images. So 
Primarily, I use oil paint um, from a variety of manufacturers and also a birch board. This painting here is done on birch board, so it's a little heavier, but it's very sturdy. But I also really love working on canvas and occasionally masonite as well. So thanks for watching this video. Um, I look forward to displaying my artwork at Art on the Digital Street 2020 this year.